Right, shalom, yeshallah, when the staff swords by giving all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, El Shai, the most possible GMS, and honest two brothers are doing the work in truth, war, sincerity. So, when I do a quick one, I'm going to call it something to the effect of, um, you know, why did Israel fall or something like that. I've got a few scriptures I want to bring out, um, you know, and channel it down somewhere else. And the staff of Baruch 4 and 6 says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies, right? And that is actually what happened. Israel, you know, if if we read uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 15, you know, the first 15 chapter of uh, 14 verses are saying, look, you know, these are the blessings you will receive. But then it goes on and says in Deuteronomy 20 and 15, it says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord of Yahweh thy power, uh, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and take thee, right, so basically Israel went off, right, Israel went off, and we removed, we moved the most high to wrath, which is why we were sold unto the nations, and what happened, um, what happened when we was on the nations, all of the curses that you read from Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, you know, of our several captivities that we've had, Right, it says uh, back in Baruch 4 and 7, For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, and Jake still be doing that till this day. Right, we still, um, you know, Jake be worshipping Shezre Borgia, uh, you know, into Islam and all that bullshit. You know, Israel, Israel's way off right now, man. You got Jake, they don't even believe in God these days. Right. It says, you have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Right, Israel have forgotten. That's like I said once again, that's why we worship these other gods. That's why you got Jake that don't believe in them in the, in the most high, in the higher power. Right, you know, mainly because they ain't got no understanding. Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of understanding. Right, this is Baruch 1 and 19. So since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt unto this present day, we have been disobedient unto our Lord our power, and we have been negligent in, in hearing his voice. Right? Wherefore the evils cleaved unto us, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses' his servant at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that floweth with milk and honey, like as it is this day. Right, and one of the things is for Israel to get that land, right? Israel's got to be pure, which is why Israel hasn't got that land. The children of Israel haven't got that land because you know Israel will just keep going off, right? But once Israel, once the Lord has set up a new covenant, Israel's going to be able to go back into that land, right? And move them heathens out that are currently inhabiting it right now, right? It's the second Ezra 6 and 56, it says. As for the other, well, you know, you can read from 50, I'll just read it, it says, uh, 654, it says, After these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, right, who are the people that the Lord has chosen, Israel, right, basically saying that of all, from Adam came all the nations, the 18 nations you have on the earth today, but of all of those, you know, there's a chosen line, and that chosen line, as we know, is Israel. Now, this is what Psalm 147 and 18, 19 says, 55 says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right, it says, As for the other people which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Right, when you Read the quote there, that's uh, in Psalms, uh, Isaiah 40 and 50, says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, you take up the owls as a very little thing. But he's saying these other nations, like, like spit, don't care about them. Right, so verse 57 says, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathens, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and devour us all. So, um, Ezra's, he's just like, yo, what, what the fuck? Like, these heathens are nothing, but yet they have dominion over us, they have power over us. You know, but why is that, as we read in Baruch 4 and 6? Right? Because ye moved the Mosai to wrath. Israel went and fucked up, and punishing us for it. 
Well, it says um, verse 58. It says, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance of the world? And Israel hasn't, we don't. Israel doesn't have shit in this world. You know, you know Jake, man, you know, Jake will be happy with the car and the council flyer, man. You know, as these heathens be, you know, getting inheritance upon inheritance, old money, as they say. Right? And then Ezra finishes it off by saying, How long shall this endure? Right? Basically, how long is this going to be fucked up like this? Well, you know, this was written, you know, several thousand years back, and it's going to continue, but it's going to start coming to an end soon. Right? And I want to get this Romans 3 23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Right? When you when you um look in your life for you was in this truth and you, you went off, right? You know, which is why we're in the state that we're in. But it's basically saying every all of Jake has gone off, right? And come short, but there will be a, 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 an elect that the most high is gonna basically impute not sin. Right, it says being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in how in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is why Yahweh Shai is important, you know, because we really and truly, man, Israel, Israel's, they, they, uh, what am I trying to say, they deserve all of the things that have happened in there, in these curses, because we all went off, we went off as a nation, right, we, when we fell as a nation, Right, and we've all seen, and you know, what was the, um, the scriptures say, if you break one law, you break them all. Right, and this is why Yahusha is important, because when you read Hebrews 8 and 6, well, I mean, there even says, says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is Yahusha Mashiach, whom the most high hath set to be a propitation. When you look up this word, propitation, right, it says, with or regained, um, when or regain the favor of so basically with Yahweh Shai we have regained the favor of the most time and this is what how Israel is going to be able to be brought back up again through Yahweh Shai because without Yahweh Shai Israel is through and you can see it when, whenever you watch world star hip hop or whatever you know them black black exploitation film and you see the state that Jake is in you know had a thing on how how um Bleaching is quite a big thing in Jamaica now. Really and truly, wherever because he's, uh, they've been trying to emulate the, the Edomites. As it's Hebrews 8 and 6, says, but now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Now you can read this down to the end, right? But this is once again reiterating the point of why our Shah is um, so important because he's the mediator, right? Israel fell because of our sins, but Israel's going to rise up again through Yahweh Shai, right? With whom, you know, if you're the let, the Most High will, will have a cloak for your sins, man. You know, so with that, I don't want to, you know, just carry on babbling, so I'm going to say, Shalom.